One of the great things about Bitcoin is how easy it is to pay for things. Uh, and that could be from a, a retail location using your mobile wallet. Uh, it could be uh, while you're shopping online and using your, your desktop or, or web wallet. Uh, so let's run through both of those scenarios. Uh, first starting with uh, a mobile wallet in a retail location. And let's use a coffee shop as an example. So you come to the register and you want to buy a cup of coffee and typically the store owner will have a few different ways in which they may be accepting Bitcoin. One could be uh, through an integrated solution with their existing point of sale software. So the one they already accept credit cards with uh, Bitcoin for them may be just another payment method. Uh, in most cases you'll see uh, small store owners using a uh, a, a tablet uh, running an application that allows them to accept Bitcoin. So when you bring your cup of coffee and you want to buy it, uh, the way in which it works is the store owner will enter the amount in which uh, the, the cup of coffee is and what that will do on their tablet is it will produce a QR code and think of a QR code as just uh, a type of barcode uh, but it contains information specific about this transaction. So it contains um, the address in which the Bitcoin should be transferred to. It contains the amount and uh, optionally it contains a description. So in this case, it could be the name of the, the coffee shop, for example. So as the uh, shopper, all you do is you take out your, your, your mobile Bitcoin wallet, you scan the QR code. And what that does is it then loads in the information about that transaction into your wallet. So again, it's the address in which uh, the Bitcoin is being sent to, the amount, and again, uh, uh, optional description uh, included as well. And from there, it's as, it's as simple as clicking a send button. And what that does is it then sends the transaction out into the Bitcoin network in which the, the miners at that point then pick it up. Um, in terms of the transaction between you and the store owner, uh, after a few seconds, the, the tablet will update and the transaction will show as complete. And at that point, it's done. So it's as simple as uh, taking out uh, your wallet, scanning a QR code, reviewing the information, and, and clicking send. Uh, and it's actually very similar when using uh, a desktop or web-based wallet for an online purchase. So in this case, we'll use overstock.com as an example uh, because they accept uh, Bitcoin. And so the, the, the process is really very similar to what you're already used to. So it's a matter of uh, selecting the products you want, putting them in your cart, uh, going through the normal checkout flow, uh, adding your shipping address, those sorts of things. Uh, the difference is when you get to how do you want to pay. Uh, so instead of checking to use uh, a credit card such as Visa, there'll be a new option in which you can say, I want to pay with Bitcoin. And what that will do is it will show a screen uh, similar to the one um, that you saw at the coffee shop. It may contain some different information about the products that are in your, uh, your, your, that are in your cart, maybe uh, support information for overstock if you have a question to call them. Um, but in this case, you will generally get a QR code and a Bitcoin address. And so, so here you have really have two ways in which to, to check out and pay. Um, using the QR code, you would take just your, your, your mobile wallet, scan it, and send, just like in the, the previous example. Um, otherwise, if you have a, a desktop or a web wallet that's already open, you can simply copy and paste the, uh, the address that they've given then paste it into the to field in your uh, web wallet or desktop wallet. Uh, enter in the amount that you're going to pay for these uh, products that are in your cart. Uh, and then click send. And the process from that point is, is essentially the same. You'll get some type of a notification on the screen saying that your, your order has been complete. You may get redirected back into um, some type of a confirmation screen with a receipt, uh, that sort of thing. So. So as you can see, uh, paying with Bitcoin is actually quite simple, both from the perspective of a mobile retail purchase, also um, online uh, through an e-commerce store. It's just a matter of either clicking uh, uh, and scanning a QR code and, and, and sending the, the Bitcoin or pasting uh, the address in 
um, entering in the amount that you're you're paying and uh, clicking send that way.